Hey, this is Nate Story with Bright Echo Tech, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about solids removal in aquaponic systems. So a lot of people ask about solids removal and filtration in aquaponic systems. And in a lot of aquaponic systems, it's necessary. So traditionally in gravel bed systems or media bed systems, the media bed itself acts as kind of the solids filtration for the system. Now that works in fairly small systems, but when you get to large systems with lots of waste being produced, that waste can accumulate really quickly in those gravel beds. So um, in our system, we have a similar media based technique. So, you know, we're actually using a fiber media in our in our towers. So, this acts as a giant biological and mechanical filter. So, in our system, we do have a couple of settlement tanks where the solid uh, the really heavy solids settle out, but the rest of those solids dump directly into our sump tank. And we we it's really turbulent, so they they swirl around in there and they break up into smaller particles, and then we pump them up into the tops of our towers. So that waste ends up dribbling out into the tops of these towers and it gets captured as the water passes through the media itself. So um, we're fortunate because we are using a media-based technique so we can minimize the amount of mechanical uh, filtration in our system. Now if you're doing raft production, something like that, you absolutely have to invest in mechanical filtration. Now this can be really expensive. Um, depending on how you choose to do it. If you're a larger commercial operation, you're looking at bead filters and poly geysers and really uh, pricey equipment. Um, so that's kind of one of the nice deals about using towers is we're able to eliminate almost all of our mechanical filtration uh, in our designs. So we're able to basically uh, run it through some very brief, um, brief settlement tanks and then we dump it directly into our towers those solids are broken down in the media, the red worms consume those solids, everything kind of cycles, and uh, we end up with a really simple, really uh, cost-effective system when it comes to mechanical filtration. For more information on the other half of your system filtration, that's the biofiltration, make sure you check out our biological surface area video. And it tells you how to calculate it and explains kind of what it is. If you find this information useful, please subscribe to our channel, check out the Vertical Food blog, and also check out our website.